we were tracking this new dub trio record, which is the sixth record, I guess, that I've done with these guys. And uh, this year, 2018, marks the 14th year that we've been working together, which is kind of crazy. I think this new record is, it's kind of an evolutionary step for dub trio. There's more singing on it. There's more just straight up rocking songs, better songwriting, and not so much in the way of just process-based dub stuff. So I think that if you follow from the first record through till now, it makes perfect sense. I don't know, I just think the songwriting is, is light years ahead of where the last records were. We always record a studio G here in Brooklyn. I've always used Joel as an engineer and mixer and collaborator. This is our 14th year with Joel as a collaborator and uh, kind of crazy. But um, yeah, so I mean, just the connection there too, he's the fourth member. I think fans of Dub Trio will hear the evolution and, and it's a step forward in a lot of ways, but with a lot to, to grab onto as far as the history of the heavy dub trio records. This one's really heavy and, uh, and moves that into the future. There's a, like I said, there's a few with vocals on it, and there's a, there's a bunch of them that, that just kind of harken back to another sound is dying, or you know, like the, the dub trio classic heavy formula. <laughs> For me, Joel is the honorary sort of fourth member of Dub Trio when it comes to doing studio stuff. He's been there from day one when we first did our first record, Exploring the Dangers Of, and he just gets it. He saw the progression of where we've been sonically as individuals and collectively as Dub Trio. So he kind of knows what we can do, what, we, what, what we're going for. And he's a, a super talented engineer. He's creative, which is super important with this with this group. I think all of us have been so busy in the last six years since we made the last Dub Trio record. It's like, you know, every show those guys played, I was in the studio making another record. It's like we've all matured in our careers and everybody's kind of better at what they do. And, and so, I don't know, I think this one might be the best one yet. It's definitely one of my favorites so far. So, like I say, after, you know, 14 years of making them, it's really evolved to become a sound and I think this one just is the the matured version of it the same way you hear an early kind of punky Melvin's record versus their later output it's like it really becomes something that you can count on you know you know it's the Melvin's immediately with this record you know it's dub trio immediately and there's just it all of that stuff happens within the confines of great songwriting on this on this particular record I'm the biggest dub trio fan in the world that's it Ha, 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 ha.